Hi everyone, Quentin here. At Covid we've been keeping ourselves busy while we've been working from home. One way that I've been keeping busy is by using the boxes I've been getting to the house and I've recycled them to make them into pieces of art and I'm going to show you how to make this piece of art specifically. Right, so a quick rundown of everything that you need. You'll need a cardboard box, you need some paper of any colour, you'll need either paint or pens. If you're using paint, you need brushes to apply the paint with and some water to clean your brushes. You'll also need scissors for cutting the box and tape or glue for putting it all together. The first step is cutting the box into the shapes that you want. So I'd say you to do circles, but first it's easier if you cut a small section of the box off so that you don't need to work with such a big medium. Another wee thing is cardboard can be quite hard to cut, so it's better to ask an adult to give you a wee hand when you need it. So that can be a parent, or it can be a guardian, or it can even be an older sibling. So as you can see, I'm cutting it into wee circles, just because that's the shape I wanted to do. And you'll see me bring across a lot of others that I prepared earlier. So, once you've got those, you need to pick whether you're going to use paint or you're going to use pen to colour them in. I used paints, uh, I specifically used gouache paints, but you can also use poster paints, they work really well. So you can see me just finishing off painting that. You can hold the edges so that you can cover the full of it rather than like holding on to it. You saw me change my hand position. Once you're done, you need to like close up your paints if you're using paints, just so you make sure they don't dry out. Right. So now I'm bringing across the ones that I did earlier because again, it's easier to do them earlier. So I can show you. So I used two different colours. I used the primary colours, blue, red and yellow because I thought they would stand out nicely against each other. So I'm going to use tape to stick them on just because that's what I had about the house. So what you want to do is take a small strip of tape. You're going to wrap it around your fingers with the sticky side up. So the non-sticky stuff should be against your fingers. So you want to just stick it on the back of the piece of cardboard and then you plop it on wherever you want it on the paper so that it's stuck. Another wee thing you can do is you can use multiple wee bits of tape on a piece of card just to keep it down more secure or if you're layering the shapes you can have one bit on another shape and one bit on the paper itself just to make sure it stays. If you decide to try this, please send a picture of it to us at Quovey. We'd love to see what fantastic artwork you've come up with. And there we go. So, last wee bit is, I needed to decide what way around I liked it most. So you can move it about, see how it looks. It can be diagonal, landscape or portrait. It's completely up to you. I wanted to sign my piece so that I knew that it was by me, just in case I found any other pieces of artwork about my house that were not mine. And that's us done. Make sure to enjoy when you try and let us know how it turns out. Have fun.